Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be my next update for my 2023-24 teacher goals. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and link you to my original video where I went over my goals for this new school year up in the card so you can go back and watch that. I have done one update as well. I will put that one in the description box. So this is the update for quarter two. So we have been in school for a semester, two quarters, so it's time to give you an update on how my teacher goals are going. So I'm just going to go through this kind of rapid fire style and let you know whether I have accomplished the goal, whether it's in progress, or whether I have not done the goal. So the first goal that I picked for 2023-24 was to learn everyone's name. I was entering a new school. I had a bunch of students to learn their names of. We have about 413 students from pre-K through second grade. There are five each of K1 and 2 and then two all-day pre-K classrooms. So I feel like at this point in the year I have learned almost everyone's name. The only class that I do not know everyone's name is one of the pre-K rooms. I have them on Friday and we have a lot of Fridays either off or where we have PD and the kids are not there. So I feel like I just don't see them as often. So as a result of that, I have not quite learned everyone's name in that room. But otherwise, I know everyone's name in the entire building. So I consider that a massive accomplishment. I am usually very good with names. This did take me slightly longer because again, Certain classes I just don't see as often as others, Mondays and Fridays in particular. So it did take me about a semester to learn everyone's name, but I'm pretty much there. I just need to work on that one pre-K room. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this one as a yes, but it is partially in progress with that one specific class. Goal number two was to plan at least two events for the library. So I did hold our first book fair back in November. There is a second one scheduled for April and I am hoping that I can do a reading night event in conjunction with that book fair. Obviously I will be talking to my principal about that getting things on the calendar but I also am working with the counselor for another book centered uh, activity, I guess, for lack of a better word. It's like a fundraiser, but not really. If you sign the students up or sign your school up, the students get at least one free book. So we are working on scheduling that. That is going to be sometime in the spring as well. So I feel like I can check off planning events. I just need to kind of iron out exactly what I want to do for that reading night. If you have suggestions, feel free to leave them down below, but that will be coming in the spring and you will hear more about it once we get closer to that date. All right, goal number three was to organize the STEM area into usable space. So I have officially cleared out the entire side of the library where there were just random bins and activities kind of just mixed all together and in a giant mess, for lack of a better word. So I have organized that into a nice clean empty space because my goal is to turn that into a maker space area but I needed to get the shelves cleaned up before I could do that because I was not wanting to bring more stuff into an overly cluttered library. So I have been going through slowly working through everything. I've given a lot of stuff away to teachers. Uh, there was like a whole massive amount of big books nobody was using so somebody took all of those which was really nice. I had DVDs that were just taking up shelf space, which I was able to move most of them out. Teachers took them. I even gave them to some students. And then I also cleaned out a lot of extra bins and storage things that just were cluttering up the area. So it is nice and clean. When I do eventually film my library tour, you will see that it is looking much nicer. It is empty but that's better than how it was looking because it was a hot mess. So I'm very pleased with how that looks. Now I just need to turn my attention towards turning that into a makerspace. 
All right, goal number four was to implement entertaining and interesting library lessons. I have done some of this. Before we went out on winter break, I did two STEM activities, which the students really enjoyed. We built a bridge to help the gingerbread man get across the river so the fox wouldn't eat him. And they also built a shelter to save the little animals from Rabbit's Snow in the Summer that was based on the book Rabbit's Snow Dance. So those both went really well. I'm looking forward to doing some more STEM activities throughout the year, but those two were a hit and I feel like I'm moving in the right direction there. I also have officially finished reading all of the required books for pre-k and kindergarten so I'm looking forward to doing some new things with them and being able to pick my own books to read and create lessons for. Goal number five was to use the no-nonsense nurturing techniques for giving directions. Now I've talked about this several times in various vlogs and other goal videos. So basically this is all about giving very specific, concise directions. They want you to use three things. They call them MVP, M for movement, how you want the students to move, V for voice, what voice level do you want them at, and P for participation, what exactly do you want them to do. So it's just about breaking the directions down into very specific things that students can follow. And while they are doing hopefully the right thing, you are positively narrating what you're seeing. So I see so-and-so doing blank. I see so-and-so blank. I see so-and-so blank. And that's to give another reminder to the students who maybe aren't doing the right thing or who missed the direction, another chance to show you that they can also follow the direction. So uh, this is particularly useful when I am having students transition from like the carpet to their tables or when I'm having them go check out a book. So I feel like some groups are better than others, as you're going to have. But overall, I have been doing a better job of implementing this in the library, and I'm going to continue to do that throughout the course of the year, particularly for the classes that are a little bit more challenging. All right, the final goal, goal number six, is that I wanted to teach and revisit routines and procedures for the library. So I actually created a PowerPoint or Google slide that I use with each class. And at the start of each class, I go through what the agenda is going to be for the class. And then I also go through the expectation. So that's an easy way for me to kind of refresh their memory in case they have forgotten what they're supposed to be doing in the library. And then I do give reminders and prompts, obviously, each time we transition. So I feel like I've been doing a little bit better with that. I don't feel like the library is as much of a mess as it was at the start of the year. And now that I am finished reading those, Amanda, mandatory books with pre-k and kindergarten, I can really focus in on how they should be checking out books and really truly teaching them step by step. They do surprisingly well. It's really first and second that have the hardest time, but it's been easier for pre-k and kindergarten because I've been able to set the expectation from the beginning rather than them having already had a previous librarian who did things a little bit different. So I just want to keep moving in that positive direction, keep things moving smoothly in the library, and I do feel like like overall, this has been something that I have managed to do. Okay, so there you have it. That is my quick little update for my 2023-24 teacher goals. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. <music>